My Business Observer really matters. It keeps me up to date with new stories, the stock market, and the economy. And I can also keep my eye on my competitors. Observer West is my team. Getting it delivered to my computer, it's interactive. North Coast to the South Coast. My son of finance gives me a roundup of corporate, local, regional, and international news that matters. The credible journalism, not to mention the agenda, there's no debate about it. Entertainment. Auto. The Mavic Lock. Continue experiencing the Jamaica Observer in print and our all access digital package. Subscribe today. I really like Pepper Pot. It's more compact and easier to read. I think it was all woman. It speaks to me and that matters. Teenage Observer, it's perfect. What would I do without my study center? It's a trendsetter. At the end of the week, I look forward to the Sunday Observer in the world world. And that's what matters. Every day matters. Subscribe today by going to jamaicaobserver.com or calling our nearest office. Welcome to the catwalk and welcome to our viewers across the Caribbean. Our designers were asked to create designs that depicts their interpretation of the true Caribbean fashion identity. The judges will score your designs as they go down the catwalk and one will be named the winner and one will be going home. The judges deciding your fate will be Senior Associate Editor at the Jamaica Observer, Miss Novia McDonald white International menswear designer, Carlton Brown, and our guest judge, international designer, Courtney Washington. Now let's get a taste of the Caribbean. Any day I could come up with a design that caters to any market. That's why I currently I'm my own favorite designer. I have a and the blue dress just suits her color with the other little color and the edging in it. You know, it just suits her. She was really, really, really good. When my mother was coming out on the runway, her steps wasn't the ideal one that I wanted to sell my clothes. That's not it, that's not it. Never, it never do anything for my clothes. Everything didn't happen the way I wanted it to, but it um it fall into place. The kind of client that I like to go after are the women who have all the money. So I told her to think of herself as being luxurious and a big spender, and she emitted that emotion very well. I love Caribbean people are known for wearing bright colors and patterns and prints. But I manipulated my fabric so the print would look kind of busy because that's why Caribbean people are known for busy prints. Absolutely love Kamisha. She did a good job. She's beautiful. And I just think the, the, the outfit fit her pretty well. It's not always about the design, it's how it's executed. Yeah, the dress finally came together. She went out there, she did her thing, she sold it. And I'm I'm satisfied, I'm happy with it.
When I saw my mother walking down the runway, I felt really good. I will fly away And you're gonna see me no more I will fly away and you're I felt good and good and bad at the same time. I didn't want to use the madras as like a full garment. I want them to like, if they look in their closet, it's not so bold at you. It's just on the inside, just like the old memories on the inside of the vacation that they took. It's funky. I'm going to a place where everybody's fun. I'm, I'm, I'm going to a place where everybody's fun. Get, get going to a place where everybody's fun. Everybody's fun. Get. Not too bad in the time frame that you have to get the design, buy fabric, and so not too bad. The outer limits of play and sound. Fly with us. I was excited, actually, because of how she carried herself. It, it actually, like, it actually became a reality. That was my design, going on your way. I will fly away And you're gonna see me no more Do you like to fly? Okay designers, we're gonna bring your models out for one final look and then bring you back to the catwalk. Thank you. I'm sorry that my scores are really bad this week because I mean just so awful. I just can't cope. Leave everything behind. Brought to you by New Healthy Gloss 5. I am dark and lovely. When I call your name, please step forward. Elizabeth? Mwanza, Alexis, Theodore, Catherine, Watson, David, and Sharon. If I did not call your name, congratulations. Your scores have qualified you to continue on this mission. You may leave the catwalk. <sighs> Woo! It was very scary. Yeah, I saw two judges nodding that gave the impression that I like. Okay, let's bring out your models. Catherine, tell us a bit about your design, please. My garment is made out of silk upholstery. Um, I was inspired by marine life, and marine life is what all the Caribbean countries have in common, our beautiful ocean. And I manipulated my pattern so that the stripes will turn in different directions so it will complement her body. It's a very cute dress. I like it, but it doesn't feel Caribbean to me. If I traveled to the Caribbean from Europe and I wanted to take something back that would look Caribbean, this wouldn't be the dress. I have no comment on that dress. Um, it's just, it's not given Caribbean, as you just um, said. If you travel into the Caribbean, you know, it doesn't matter what island you travel into and you're taking back a piece of the Caribbean, it wouldn't be the color palette. Although you're inspired by the deep ocean, not many folks see the deep ocean, so they want you know, colors that they can actually, you know, relate to, it, yeah? I was inspired by it. I mean, honestly, it's, it's just not, it's not happening for me, you know. I mean, you, I mean your explanation is saying it's, it's the ocean, but I mean, so I'm seeing an oil spill, but hey. Theodore, tell us a bit about your design, please. 
I wanted to kind of give a feel that was more than just the aquatic life of the Caribbean. So I wanted her to appreciate the beautiful sunset that each Caribbean island has at the end of the day. And this is a dress that could be worn to a street festival, it could be worn to a cocktail party, it could be worn to a casual event. So I wanted to make something that was versatile and it, it, it emitted emotion from the Caribbean. In the top I did something like patchwork and it's kind of similar to my cultural parade back home in the Bahamas called Junkanoo. Can you spin around? Thank you. I think it's a very beautiful dress. I like the prints that you chose. It looks like something you could take back from the Caribbean and wear somewhere else. It's not something you necessarily have to wear on the beach. So kudos for choosing that print. Mm -hmm. I thought you really captured the essence of the Caribbean woman. Mm -hmm. These, the sass, the sophistication, the feistiness as it were. Very nice interpretation of the region. The inspiration of the, um, you know, with the African print. Definitely, it's definitely working. Thank you, Theodore. Sharon, tell us a bit about your design, please. In Jamaica, we have the different hills, the Jonker Mountain, the Blue Mountain. So here is a formation of the hills, representing the hills, the valleys. For instance, uh, in Mandeville, here represent the valleys that we have many of in Jamaica. Some of the plains, some of the flat lines. The Madras is to represent Jamaica 50, as we have just celebrated. And it is hip. I did it in a hip form, a younger form, but we still remember where we are coming from. I like the, um, the asymmetrical um, hem. I really like that cut. It's very nice. But when I look at the garment, it looks more like a costume because of the fabric you chose and the off-the-shoulder. The off the shoulder has been done so many times for every independent celebration. Every costume that is a national costume has that off the shoulder thing with the bandana fabric. With the powder puff sleeves, mine is not. Sharon, you were, you were asked to interpret Caribbean, not your Jamaican culture. So I think that's where um, the judges are having a very hard time with your design. Um, it's giving, it's definitely giving. Um, the bandana and the Jamaican costume, an edge, um, as you say, to mix the mature with the younger, the older with the younger. But I, I don't believe you were asked to design a Jamaican costume. You were asked to design a. Um, you were asked no to interpret the Caribbean. Yes, you were interpret, asked to um, interpret style, 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 style of the Caribbean, um, not just one island. Um, exactly. You know. and, and I think Courtney is absolutely correct. I think that's that's where you really fell down badly because it just looks as if you borrowed her from Devon House, from Devon House for the show. I don't think it's missing is the basket. They don't yeah. have baskets anymore at Devon yeah. House. They're at the Great House. She's from the mansion. Yeah. It's stitched well, you know, but it's just the immediate impact I mean, of that's it. That's nice. I mean, it it's looks nice. like something you bring back from the colony. I mean, it's just... All right, thank you, Sharon. Alexis, tell us a bit about your design, please. Hi, good evening, everybody. My design is inspired by the oceans of the Caribbean. As you can see, the texture of the print, well, the print instead of the, um, the fabric, it's actually printed chiffon. It gives you um, some of the, the wavy texture. Um, I did some tucks here, also to depict the waves as well. And um, I did um, a two-tone feel at the bottom. The finish that I gave, the blue, to depict the ripples of the ocean. You could have taken the crochet detail down a bit further. Mm -hmm. That mm -hmm. would have been really, Dramatic. you know, a bit more. I liked, I liked the, um, the ruche detailing at the side. A woman of every size can look at it and kind of figure out that, um, yes, you'd have to do her boobs, but I mean, she could, it would fit the hips. Mm -hmm. the, um, the fluidity of the garment is good as well. The model certainly, you know, manipulated it well down the runway. I liked it, actually. I love your color choice as well very easy and it had a kind of you know sophistication about it as well i like the dress it's um absolutely love the plunging neckline um and the detail of the um of the high slit and the fluid you know the hemline is so fluid and, and feminine it's um it's a great dress so kudos to you and Mwanza, tell us a bit about your design, please. You know, one thing, one of the biggest things we're known for is our luscious beaches and sand. That's what we're known for. That's one of the things we're known for our festivals, our 
carnivals, our, our food. There's so many things that we're known for and tourists come on a daily basis and come back uh, uh, on a regular, you know, and keep on coming back to the Caribbean because of these things. Um, I had some detail into the neck. The colors just tell it, tells it all, you know, sun, you know, vibrant color, carnival, you understand? So you're leaving with an experience and something from that experience, you understand? Um, I, I made it, you know, flare and then I used um, some opened uh, knife flicks around, you know, to give you that girly Spanish influence because we're, we're being influenced from so many cultures, right? So I added feelings, you know, free, fun, you know, you know, just to remember the fun that you had when you were here. I like your colors. I particularly like that blue fabric. It's a very nice fabric choice. But I don't know, um, there's some things that's not lying right with all the ruffles around the neck. That trimming is just not sitting right with me. And if you could turn around briefly for me, I, it's just a bit, like, too many colors going on for me. And it's, it's, I don't think the execution was very strong. It, it's not really sewn properly and the bust is a little tiny. You'd have to have really small boobs to wear that. So the average woman is not going to pick it up in a store. And it's, it's just not stitched properly. And even, if, even besides the stitching, the look of it, just the design, the look of it, it's just too much going on in terms of the frills and the, the ruffles up here and the colors, the multiple colors. Maybe if you have stuck to two or three colors, but there's too many colors going on for me. The colors are nice. I like to you the choice of colors but um, I would have declined your invitation to Carnival. I'm just thinking if it was much longer, much longer, you know I mean, with, with you know, all those you know, stitching detail in terms of the piping that you put on it. But Tim, turn the back for me. You see when we're, that's, that's what, that's what, linen? Yeah, Rami linen. It's yeah, linen. stitching is it's off. The execution is just not there. Um, but it's supposed to be a zip in the middle, right? It's supposed to be a zip. The zip is not covered. It's you not can see it from here. Um, so going forward in your in your design, you want to design and, and make sure that you have a finished product that someone can pick up and have for literally a lifetime. Um. Okay, thank you, Imwanda. Watson, tell us a bit about your design, please. Mon inspiration vient de la Caraïbe, spécialement mon pays. Ok, on utilise toujours euh, le siam, le carabella. Euh, je me suis dit, euh, il faut donner quelque chose de chaud parce que en arrivant à Jamaïque, je, ça, ça augmente dans l'intention de, de travailler beaucoup plus. Ok, et ce sont des boutons en bois et ça, ça ce sont des brides. Ce sont des brides. Ensuite, une jupe de base. Ok, avec des cordes. Ensuite, il y a une jupe en laisse qui, qui se trouve là-dessus. Watson, I like, I like the top. The top is very nice. The skirt, however, because of that plaid, it makes it very almost costumey, and it's, 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 it makes it too safe to try and you know, make it like a national fabric. It, it would be good to stay away from the national fabric if you're trying to do something that represents, you know, your country that the tourists would like to bring back and wear in their country without looking like a costume. But I, the top is nice. If you used that plaid less, if you just had it in a piping somewhere else at the bottom and there's a yellow skirt, it would have been very, very nice. Ah, um, Watson, c'est un peu trop. For example, la jupe, c'est um, ça me raconte la serviette dans la salle de manger. C'est moi. Mais le, um, la, la jupe et les robes, pas mal. Mais il faut faire attention parce que, comme, comme um, Kenya dit, c'est un peu costumé. Elizabeth, tell us a bit about your design, please. Judges. The people is what really gives the islands the um, memorable nature that they have. We are very bold. That's why I use the very bright green. And with Caribbean people, what you see is what you get. We don't sugarcoat anything. So it's very easily to be misinterpreted. 
So um, I had like some hidden ruffles. I didn't want them to be the typical ruffles, so I did sort of a bulbous shape. So it gives you the idea of the ruffle without it being so traditional. So it looks more modern. And I wanted it to be something a bit more timeless that can not just last for one or two seasons, they can have something in their closet that would always remind them of the Caribbean. I also used the burlap, which um, I used to represent the very first settlers of the Caribbean, which are the Caribs and the Arawaks, who are more natives than most of us. But each one of us has that mix. Um, Caribbean people are very diverse. We have the French, the Spanish, and I can go on and on. So instead of just trying to get lost in all of those different interpretations, I went for something very direct and very to the point. I like your choice of fabric. It's very easy breezy, very Caribbean. I'm not feeling the burlap, it's a little heavy on top. And the stitching wasn't so perfect. I didn't mind the introduction of the burlap at the back. I like the, um, in fact, I prefer the back to the front, to tell the truth. I mean, the front, I mean, I, you know, the color, the color of the front is nice. I mean, that was, I mean, it's... I'm seeing it's looking like the bustle at the back is on the bias, is it? So she has the back um, in a cut on the bias, which is um, it's a good detail for the flow of the bustle. And um, the addition um, of the green is giving, you know, like a forward fashion sense um, as it's the color for spring 2013. So um, the white with the burlap and the green is, um, is very fresh, yeah. All right, thank you, Elizabeth. David, tell us a bit about your design, please. Hello, judges. Well, the first thing I saw when I went in Pablo's was a pillow that was actually a fish. And so I took that apart, and I really liked the print on it because it reminded me of carnivals around the Caribbean. And also fish, I love fish. I love anything with the water, under the water, and I love to eat fish as well. So I, I worked with this, I took it apart and then I sewed it together to create my own little print. And I added beading, glass beads, uh, reminiscent of Carnival and in my hometown, Junkanoo. Uh, I wanted it to be easy, something that a lady in her 20s could wear, something that a lady in her 30s could wear maybe with skinny jeans, something if probably produced a little bit longer, a lady in her 40s could wear. That whole neck area is just divine. I, I, I didn't see when you picked that fabric in, in Pablo's. I was wondering where it came from, but now you say it's the fish. Genius. I loved it. And, they, and the, the hand beading that you did, beautiful. The asymmetrical lines, the way you cut the um, shoulders in like that, that free flowy. It, it's sexy and you would feel comfortable even if you have a tummy or a little, you know, the hemline though. The way you did the hem was, a, it's a, it looks almost raw, like it's not... It's just pure surge, it's just, it's just, it's just, it's just surge, it's surge. It's yeah. not surge actually, it just has a, a straight stitch. And then it's, it not done, it's not done well. You basically take a fish, you pull it apart and you put it back together. Mm -hmm. right? And matching, and matching, and matching all back the every mm -hmm. single, let's say stripe or a scale. <laughs> fit. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's beautifully done, beautifully done. I can see that dress on the resort um, ready to sell for 2013. When I call your name, please step forward. Alexis. David. Elizabeth. And Theodore. Your designs were the strongest we saw this week. And one of you will be the winner of this mission. Theodore. Congratulations, you are the winner of this mission. You may leave the cat off. I'm excited about it. Uh, sometimes I beat myself up a little hard, so that's all that's been going through my head, what to do better for next time. Watson, your designs were the weakest we saw this week. And not just one, but two of you will be going home today.
Discover the extraordinary with Digicel 4G Mobile. Hundreds of thousands of apps available for download from the Google Play Store, allowing you to play more, see more, share more, make more of every moment. Sign up for a Digicel 4G Mobile Data Plan and explore the Google Play Store from your Samsung smartphone. Put extraordinary at your fingertips. Be extraordinary. Digicel. Watson, you may continue on this mission. Please leave the catwalk. Sharon, I'm sorry, you're no longer part of this mission. You may leave the catwalk. Yeah, people call me you see my dress. I know. I'm gonna my work on tidy. I saw. And look at my wonderful gorgeous belt. I never mentioned that. Catherine, you may continue on this mission. Please leave the catwalk. And Wanza, I'm sorry, that means you're out. And we look forward to seeing more from you. Okay. All the best. Those little words that the judges might say, you know, it's not to actually break you, but it's to make you because if you don't have no uh, or someone to tell you that this is not the way, this is not acceptable, you will go along doing whatever you're doing, right? So it's it's good, you know, I'm very young at what I do and I'm grateful for the experience. It's a win-win for me, coming to Jamaica, enjoying yourself, why not? The winning design from tonight's episode will be available tomorrow at Lee's Fifth Avenue. Well, after I heard I won, I was obviously excited, wanted to celebrate a bit, sit down and relax, eat some food, but right after that I had to do a critique session with Kay. Uh, the master extraordinaire of quality work. So in order to price the garment, you have to know exactly how much raw material goes into it. For me, no woman would want this scratching on her body. Yes, so you have to have a lining. I learned a lot from it. I know, like I said, I know what I need to do better. You know, if I went to a store to buy a garment like this, I'm going to look on the wrong side. Mm -hmm. If you're going to put a thing like this in the armhole you put in, but it encased Fold in. into the lining. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yes, I mean, you want to keep the look, but you want to take the labor cost out. Uh, hopefully I'm able to finish early, so I'll probably get up early tomorrow morning and get the stuff done and then go out and enjoy Jamaica, because I haven't been able to see anything else other than Pizza Hut and Kentucky. And I don't think that either of those are Jamaica. On the next episode of Mission Catwalk. Now for the first time, on Mission Catwalk, you will create menswear. Oh my gosh, never done menswear before. It kept everybody stressed. This looks very, very unprofessional and homemade. No way is Shaggy with all his money and all the possibility of going into Christian Dior, into Ferragamo. Is he going to pick up this garment? No way, Jose. Tell them to dress back how much a pedigree. Definitely make a stay. The bag I'm gonna like. It look like a purse. So it didn't look like anything that um, Shaggy would really kind of, you know, go wow over. Mission Catwalk was brought to you by... Become a super millionaire. Digicel. Be extraordinary.